All right, Stacy's with us. Stacy's in Milwaukee. Hi, Stacy. How are you? Hi, Dave. I'm wonderful. How are you this beautiful Tuesday? Just the same. How can I help? <laughs> okay, so I have a whole slew of stuff. I'll give you the background info, and then you tell me your thoughts. Okay. <laughs> okay, so right now, my fiancé and I um, will be getting married in the next couple of weeks. Yay! Back. Yay! Um, we have a little one who is seven months old tomorrow. Um, we have no debt outside of our home. Um, fiancé moved here from Oklahoma previously traded stock during the day, um, but then once baby was born, he stayed home with baby, so we didn't have to pay um, any kind of child care. Well, he recently got his um, real estate license, and in order for us to really get the ground running for him to really kick some butt and do well, um, we have to put the baby into daycare because I work probably 50 hours a week with my job Mm -hmm. um, so that he can really attack it head on. Good. Um, our goal is to be able to live off of my income alone because he has his savings. I have my savings. Um, together, we have around $400,000. Um, what's it called? $400,000 in assets. Um, so our goal is, like I said, to live off my income. We're thinking either to, um, we have two things that we're thinking about doing, um, selling our house and buying a duplex so that we can kind of live in that duplex and have somebody else paying our rent for us um, while he's getting off with the real estate. And then the second choice would be for me to lower um, the amount of money that I'm putting into my employee stock purchase plan and 401k. Mm-hmm. Okay. Or we can, I mean, we could do both. Or yeah. if you have any other suggestions. <laughs> Newly married, I would not move. Okay. And I would not have my renter next door. Okay. N- newly married. You have a new baby a new marriage, and a new career for him. Enough mm-hmm. already. Enough new already. Okay? You <laughs> okay. Need, need some things that you can count on, and the that, that that address where you live will do just fine for a little while. So chill. Uh, no, the, the, it's okay to own a duplex and have your renter next door. The good news is your renter's next door. The bad news is your renter's next door. Yeah. And uh, so, and, and, you know, it's not always cut out to be. Uh, so no, I would not do that right now. You have enough change going on in your life. I would just, just chill and just ride this thing out. Just let's get his career going. Let's make it as calm as possible. And how much notice do you have to give to jump in or out of your employee stock purchase or your 401k? Um, uh, 401k, I can do that tomorrow. Stock purchase plan. Um, it's a six month period. The thing is I have such an amazing stock purchase plan. Um, no, my company, Oh, no, I, I promise you, I it's do. It's 15% off. <laughs> what was that? It's 15% off. It's 15%, yes, 15% yeah, off. That's what they of all the are. Abs- but at, of the absolute lowest price in yeah. that but that's, period. But that's what they all are. <sighs> that's not any different it's than anybody makes- else's. And if you look at the highs and the 52-week highs and the 52-week lows on yours, it may move as much as 15% a year. Yes. So, you know, it's not really that big a deal. I would stop okay. that. I would stop that anyway. And uh, I'm not playing single stocks. And and how much in cash can you get a hold of that's not in a retirement account? Um, I have 25000 in my... How about uh, mutual funds and other investments that are not in retirement accounts? Between him and I, like 150000 Okay. So you got a little cash. pad that you could get a hold of if something goes bad. Yeah, I I would not stop your 401k. I would stop the employee stock purchase, and I would not buy the duplex. I'm just trying to create a calm, a steady situation for a new marriage, a new baby, and a new career. Okay. So that I can have more chance that he succeeds at the new career. So do you feel like it's okay to eat some of the savings for now? I don't think you're going to. You don't think so? I think if you stop the employee stock purchase plan, you get on a budget, you get your everydollar.com, jump over and get your budget going. The two of you do this. I think you can just live on your income. Uh, <laughs> I'll bet you can. What do you, well, what do you I make? Mean, um, my base pay is 73 And then when I get bonuses, they can range. I mean, my last bonus was 8000 how I'm often a pharma- does a bonus come? I'm a come? pharmaceutical sales rep. And how often does uh, a bonus come? Every, qu- every quarter. You can so. live on that. You can live on that. You, you may not get to go out to eat as much as you want to. You may not be going mm-hmm. on vacation while he's getting his career started. But I'm not stopping your 401k so you can do those things. 
Mm-hmm. Get yourself on a budget. You guys are a little ADD. <laughs> well, we, I know. Well, we, we literally, when I was pregnant, we completely redid our house. Oh, God. Um. <laughs> you don't need any more projects. Calm down. Get slow and steady. Don't be the, don't be the hare. Be the tortoise. <laughs> You're going to be fine. You're doing good stuff. You're going to win. You're obviously both high energy people and you get a lot of stuff done. Just don't put so much on your plate. Enjoy your life a little bit. This is the Dave Ramsey Show. Hey, you guys, Rachel Cruz here. I hope you are enjoying the Dave Ramsey Show. And did you know that I have my very own YouTube channel? Yes, that's right. It's kind of better than the Dave Ramsey channel. Don't tell them I said that. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So subscribe. And there's lots of videos about life and money. So while you're at it, if you want to check out a video, then you can check out how to do a monthly budget. It's one of the best videos out there.